Hey guys, Capper here and welcome back. Today's video is going to be more about water erosion. I'm going to show you my last temporary fix. I'm going to show you how it did with the water boards made basically out of gravel. And then I'm going to give you some ideas of what to do next, but I also want to ask you guys for your ideas because I know there's a lot of excavators out there, but just keep in mind that I can't dig down. The max I'm willing to go is about six inches down. So putting a large pipe of any kind is just not an option. So let's, let's get into this. I'll show you what I did. We got a gully washer like three nights ago and I'll show you what happened. So let's check it out. Thanks a lot. Right, so roughly about a week ago, I added a few more water boards here to try and address the problem that's been ongoing for quite some time. Basically, um, the water comes down this hillside here and it has to cross the driveway in one way or another just due to the way the hill is laid out. So this gully washer was about two weeks ago or a week and a half ago and you could see that it's crossing in this spot where I want it to cross but it's also crossing this direction over here where I don't want it to go. So then after this my next fix was going to be to add some more water boards, beef them up a little bit to try to cure this. So that's what I did next. I brought some gravel down. Um, I made like three different, three to four different new water boards, compacted them down with the uh, skid steer and the excavator and then that's going to bring us to the last storm which is where we are at now. So this was the last storm just three days ago. This higher water board you could see it's working a little bit but not that well and this bottom one is obviously working quite well but it's almost working too well. I'm getting a lot of erosion going on here and that's just a large volume of water um, to be handled just in one location like that. So my top two ideas are one is to kind of cut that whole section out and pour a concrete slab in there to help handle the water although that doesn't address it where the lawn is next to the driveway. I could also add a couple of small pipes like four inch pipes possibly six inch max but I don't know if they'll handle the volume during these gully washers. I can address the water up the hill a little ways but it's still not going to divert all of it. I'm still going to have to dress it down here by the house. So let's hear some of your ideas on what you think and uh, we'll see what the next step is going to be here instead of just leaving it you know constantly erode down here in this area. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot. So I may end up putting a culvert here much as I don't want to only because all these lines are buried like that gutter line comes across we got everything coming to the house here this gutter line so I'm gonna barely be able to go deep at all matter of fact I may have to just lay it kind of in that little ditch and then build this road up a little bit but it did work just a little too much volume to handle this way that's all there is to it you can see that 